Grain and Spawn Tanning is a 10-year-old company that produces components in aluminium, stainless steel, brass and plastic for a wide range of industries. Back in 2014, the company felt the pain of the oil crisis. The oil companies and its sub-suppliers were heavily affected. Greno was one of the suppliers for the industry that had to restructure production and diversify their customers. That led to a high-mix, low-volume production where they had to make better use of the work center, increase the productivity on the milling machines and save time on each production cycle. Greno chose to set up a meeting with Mel CNC, who helped automate their production. The most efficient solution was to invest in a Cobot and dual RG2 gripper. Klaus Huldale was impressed with the RG2 gripper's flexibility, easily adjustable parameters and short changeover time. We were looking for a gripper that is easy to install, program, and can be quickly moved and reconfigured to a different production line, a solution that the staff should be confident to work with. Currently, the Cobot and the dual RG2 gripper loads and unloads components on CNC machines. We saw the benefits of the dual RG2 solution right away. It minimizes the shifts, thus increasing the productivity on the machine. The gentle grip of the RG2 ensures no marks are made on the surface of the aluminium components. The short reconfiguration time of the on-robot grippers enables the station to be easily moved from one machine to another to handle components of various shapes and sizes. The customizable fingertips feature on the RG2 is another strong argument for Greno. Because we produce components with diverse geometry and high surface finish requirements, it is very important for us that we can design our own fingertips to ensure the right grip. What got us even more excited about the RG2 solution was the fast return on investment. We expect a payback period of as low as four months and we are already planning on adding more grippers to automate the rest of the milling machines. 